Pepperdine hosting BYU Saturday for the final game of the series tied at one apiece. Max Gamboa took the mound for the Waves today, pitching six innings, allowing five hits while striking out five. Cougars will get on the board early today. Top of the first, Colton Shaver flies this one out to right field, advancing Tanner Chauncey to third and scoring Hayden Nielsen to take the early lead. Top of the third, ground ball up the middle, and Chase Lambert is there to tag the base and throw over to first for a nice unassisted double play. Bottom of the six, bases loaded for Pepperdine, and Brad Anderson takes this one to deep left field, bringing in four runs, and the Waves would take the lead 4-1. to one. Bottom of the seventh with two outs, line drive to center field. Matt Jelich tracks it down and dives in full extension to make the web gem catch to end the inning. BYU would try for the comeback in the top of the ninth, tacking on two more runs for the Cougars, but Max Green picks up his first save as the Waves win 4-3. to three. The Waves have now won five series in a row. Pepperdine will be back home on May 20th as they play their final West Coast Conference series against Pacific. All right, Coach, great win. Uh, the bats kind of struggled off the start. What, what kind of turned it around besides Brad's home run? Well, the turnaround really was, was Max Gamboa. Their guy was throwing a great game, and, and Max Gamboa kept us in the game. That He gave up one in the, in the first, but kept us close and kept us right in the game. And you guys stress defense so much. There were some great defensive plays today by Fornacci, Jelic out there in center field. Uh, how much importance of, of defense you guys put on, on the game? It was an emphasis uh, right away in the fall. And uh, Coach Fouts has done a tremendous job with the infielders. And, uh, you know, the ro- results are seen. They've done a great job. Five in a row, five series in a row, uh, taking that momentum into next weekend, also into UCLA this Tuesday. Uh, what do you guys need to do to kind of propel yourself into that three, possibly two spot? Just continue to build on what's been going on. The pitchers were tremendous this weekend, and that's really where it starts. If our pitchers can pitch like that, uh, we have a chance at a series series win every time. Brad, the bats were struggling early, and then you came up in the bottom of six, hit that grand slam. What did that really mean for your team and the momentum? Uh, I think it just kind of shifted the momentum in our way. We'd been struggling to get a run across and a hit across there for a while, and I think it just kind of gave us a little push to get in it, and our pitchers did a great job today. So. And you're in your senior season. This is your final season away's uniform. Uh, what does that really mean to you? I mean, heading into the postseason, what kind of is going through your head at this point? Uh, you know, I mean, it could be my last year. You want to go out strong and really just end well and not have any regrets, you know. So hopefully we'll be able to make it to the postseason and see how far we can go. Max came in the bottom of the ninth inning in that tough situation. Uh, what did it mean for you to come, kind of come out and get that? Um, you know, I, I, Kiko had it shut down. You know, he shut down right after Gamboa. He did a uh, he did a great job. I came in, just quickly warmed up fast, came in, and just tried to throw a couple fastballs, get the do- job done, you know. What was going through your mind, too? I mean, you're in that tough situation. What kind of goes through your mind when you're on the mound? Um, you know, Barney's always – Barney always has the plan yeah. stuck. Him and Gar's really hard in the hatchet on that. And yeah. I had a plan, and, you know, he told me stick with me here. So, you know, that's all I, do, I need to do. And, you know, whenever I work with him, it – it always works out in, in uh, the team's favor, I guess.